Switch gears and talk about uh, Europe, the Eurozone, Silvio Berlusconi's centre-right party and other Italian politicians. They go back to Parliament today, which is, well, reconvening for the first time since last month's inconclusive elections. Now, as the haggling over forming a new government, it continues, so does the country's economic crisis. Italy saw, in fact, its borrowing costs hit three-month highs earlier this week after the credit rating agency's Fitch cut its rating of the country's huge debt. So, lots of problems. The clock is clearly ticking. Let's get the views of John Wise from the European School of Economics, who joins us from Rome. Uh, John, good to have you as always. John, just morning, clear this up for, um, for our viewers around the world. A couple of weeks ago, we had that Italian election and clearly no, uh, no clear winner. Um, so is there actually a government to reconvene? Well, yes, uh, the job has to be done and uh, has to be completed. So uh, now we have a new parliament and uh, we want to take a fresh look at the problems and hopefully we'll be able to get uh, things on the right track. I say hopefully. Of yeah, course. no, everybody, and we all hope as well. But, but, but given, look, what we've seen just recently, the rising costs for Italy, I mean, in terms, basically, in terms of the interest rate, the yield that they have to pay when they borrow money, that's sort of gone up, the credit rating cut. Is Italy sort of treading towards that, that, uh, that danger zone once again, perhaps? Well, uh, we have to put things in perspective. About uh, two years ago, when uh, Monti came in, uh, into office, or even shorter than that, uh, the uh, difference between the, the uh, spread uh, were, were much higher, right? The, so the spread was much higher, and uh, Italy was in a worse situation from a credit standpoint than, uh, than Spain was. Now it's still better off. We don't know for how long, but uh, the main thing is, is these, uh, this new, are these new representatives going to be able to guarantee a, a stability and uh, be able to govern the country as it should be? Yeah. Uh, so that's a key question right now. It, it sure is, and something we'll be keeping our eyes on, and no doubt talking to you once again about all of that. John, thanks very much. Short and sweet. We're going to leave You're it welcome. there. John Wise joining us live from Rome.